Tank. That's your spider? Sting is a 2024 Australian creature feature horror movie written and directed by Kia Roach Turner. It stars Jeremy Fowler, Alia Brown, and Penelope Mitchell. After raising an unnervingly talented spider in secret, 12-year-old Charlotte must face the facts about her pet and fight for her family's survival when the once charming creature transforms into a giant flesh-eating monster. Hey there, little guy. Charlotte! I need you to watch Liam. Why? Because he's six months old and he eats paper. <laughs> So I was able to check this out this week at an early screener. It doesn't come out for another couple weeks. It comes out on April 12th. So if you're watching this before then, it won't be in theaters yet. But this is going to get a theatrical run. And I'm really excited about that because this is a movie that I think is a lot of fun and something that I have sorely missed in theaters. And that's that old school creature feature kind of horror movie. Stuff we used to see in the 50s with these giant spiders, giant ants, just these giant creatures attacking people I've always had a soft spot for those and this does a great job of bringing that back but in a modern world kind of way and Australia has just been absolutely killing it lately there's been one movie after another horror movies that have just been coming out of there that are fantastic I mean I just talked about late night with the devil which came out from Australia but then we also had talk to me last year and a bunch of other ones it's just been a great time for Australian filmmakers and I'm so there for it but I just found this to be such an enjoyable movie the thing that really jumped out at me was the family the dialogue the way they're written just the the characters in general they all feel so likable and real and authentic and when a movie does that I think it's great because it just makes you connect to these characters and root for them on such a different level and so it puts you on the edge of your seat more because you're more invested in the story you're more invested in these characters and actually give a shit if they live or die or or what happens to them and I can see for some people it might be a negative because the story does take its time setting up these characters. There is a really sweet story, an interesting story in my opinion, to the characters and what they're going through beyond this spider situation. And I like that. I like the layers of it. I like the emotional connection to all of that and how each of the core people in this have a story and a character and it takes enough time to flush those out. Now, I'm not saying it's a slow burn by any means because it's not. There is action and pretty quickly on in it and there are creepy things throughout. It's not a slow movie by any means. It's just, it's not nothing but creature running around killing people it is not that kind of film beyond that it's just a good old-fashioned creature feature but yet it doesn't take itself too serious at all there is some humor in there there is some funny moments it is goofy and campy in ways without losing sight that it is a horror movie and there are a lot of creature feature gory goodness it's gory but not crazy gory but it shows you enough in my opinion if you're coming into this for the gore well it's not exactly a gory movie though it does have kills and it doesn't shy away from it doesn't do cutaways it just doesn't linger on them and it doesn't go full-blown terrifier either but it is an r-rated movie and you can feel it the language and like i said the violence and the kills they are there but it's not the hardest r-rated movie you'll see either like this is a movie that feels almost like an r-rated arachnophobia it has a lot of that family kind of wholesome kind of goodness about it but yet it does take all that further into that r rating but it gets intense. I mean, this movie, a lot of it is because you care so much about this family that's going through this. But I mean, it had me nervous. It had me on the edge of my seat. It's very creatively shot as well. Just the camera angles, the way they go about tracking through this apartment complex. It goes from one room to the next and you're all kind of seeing it from a spider's POV. Even from the very beginning before the spider's even a thing, it sets it up in that way. You just kind of come in and track through the hallway ways into the apartments through the different air vents and things like that and get a good layout of the whole thing so the entire movie you're kind of feeling like you're almost a spider going through this maze of this apartment complex and i thought it was a really creative way of introducing you to these characters that live in these different apartments and who each one is and different quirky things about each one of them but if you're afraid of spiders, this one is gonna really freak you out. I don't think this is a good choice if you 
seriously have a phobia of spiders. If you just get ooked out and creeped out by them, well then by all means go and see this. But I mean, if you're someone that is absolutely just devastatingly terrorized by the thought of spiders, this one will definitely get you. But that's kind of a no-brainer. I don't think this movie is scary per se though. I mean, at least not crazy scary. It's more of an intense situation. It's more of, like I said, having you on the edge of your seat, just nervous, you know, waiting to see what's going to happen next. But it is not really a scary movie. There are a few moments, and I mean, it definitely has its icky spider, you know, creepy qualities about it throughout. But it's just not what I would say is exactly a scary movie. It's funny because I'm not even afraid of spiders by any means. I'm not really afraid of bugs in general. And yet I found myself after seeing this when I came home, still seeing the spiders on the walls out of the corners of my eye. Like just like seeing a movement almost and, and things and having to keep telling myself that it's just a movie. And that's really, really rare for that to happen to me. But I think because of the way that it's shot, it just, it's not that it freaked me out, but it was just this fun thing. It was more of a, a fun level and now seeing them kind of crawling down walls and, and things like that. Like I said, this movie's a blast. I don't think it's a super disturbing or super scary kind of movie. It's not one that's gonna like really stick with you after the fact per se. It's just a fun kind of creature feature movie. Like I said, it really is an old school creature feature that we just don't see enough of anymore. So it's not anything that reinvents the wheel, but it's not trying to be. It's paying homage and tribute to a lot of those classic creature features. But I do think it does enough unique stuff, enough original stuff that it does stand out and I think it's really worth seeing in theaters. I just had such a great time with it. Like I said, I saw this at an early screener. It doesn't come out until the middle of April, but I just can't wait to see it again, to be honest, because it just really is an entertaining, great time. I really can't convey how much I loved and adored this family in it. The the dad and the daughter, especially, and the, the whole story arc and what they go through and, and what the whole point of everything is, I am someone who basically adopted my son when he was just, you know, a little guy. I came into his mom's life and became his dad. And so this deals with that stepdaughter, you know, type of situation and the way it's told, the whole story behind that. I just found it to be really heartwarming, but not in an overly cringy kind of way. I thought it did a great job of just telling you this interesting story and putting these characters that you like into this situation with this wild spider. Either way, I had a great time with this little movie and I highly, highly recommend it. And that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell cause that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this and I post videos like this every single week, I also wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon and to the channel members over here. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. And if you would like to help support this channel and become part of the crew, there's a link down in the description for Patreon. Or if you wanna become a channel member and help support the channel that way, there's a button right down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch me talk about Late Night with the Devil. And I'll see you guys next time.